Hello and welcome to another edition of the Integrated Science Intervention Program for SHS. Today's topic is electronics. In today's lesson, we will demonstrate how discrete electronic components behave in an electric circuit. My name is Kisi Waidu and I'll be your facilitator. To get us started, do you recall these components below from our previous lesson? Well, which of these that which of them does the following store charges in a magnetic field resist the flow of electrons store charges in an electric field well done resistors resist the flow of electrons Capacitors store charges in an electric field. Inductors store charges in a magnetic field. In our lesson today, we would learn to interpret circuit diagrams. Then we'll go on to relate to how circuit components behave in an electronic circuit, namely our resistors, capacitors, and inductors. So to start us off, we would interpret circuit diagrams we we'll demonstrate the effects of the electronic components as mentioned earlier as the lesson progresses. Some of the key words you will encounter in our lesson today are light emitting diode or LEDs, direct current or DC, alternating current or AC, series arrangement. Now when we talk about series arrangements of components in a circuit, it is when we put circuits and we put components end to end on a circuit we connect from the positive side to the negative side we would also see parallel arrangements of components now in the parallel arrangements we put them side by side what i mean by side by side is that in a parallel arrangement all negatives go to one side and all positives go to another side we will we'll see connecting wires and a breadboard. Now, let's begin by learning to interpret our circuit diagram. This is a typical circuit diagram you would find in your science textbooks. How do we translate this circuit diagram into the real diagrams that we see in our everyday electronic experiments? To start off, you have to pick a starting point. In this case, we would want to pick our battery as our starting point. The positive end of the battery, the black line you see there is a wire that connects the positive end of the battery to one end of the resistor. The other end of the resistor is connected to the positive side of the LED. And the negative side of the LED connects back to the negative side of the battery and that completes the loop now when we are done with this this is how it looks like please join me as we have a practical section on how this circuit looks like 